Alright. Today we're making a wooden crate table on casters. So you can roll it around. We'll go over supplies first. We have these wooden crates from Michael's. Our table is going to be made using six of these. We have a knee pad from Dollar Tree to save your knees while you're sanding. You're obviously going to need the screws to put everything together, so we have a box of those. Your casters, I'm just using leftover ones that we had from another project, so I didn't have to buy more. But you could pick these up at Harbor Freight, uh, Menards, Lowe's, anywhere like that. We have paint brushes for painting your crates, whatever color you're going to be using. We're using pink and purple paint down here, and then I'm going to be spraying a clear enamel cover on it to help keep the paint from chipping. For sanding your wood so that it's smooth for painting, I've got an orbital sander and a sanding sponge. You could just use a sanding sponge on, on its own. It's going to take a while though. And now we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, we got all of our crates sanded down nice and smooth. Didn't take very long. I think we got all six of them done in about 40 or 45 minutes. Another helpful hint that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, especially if you're going to be sanding outside in windy weather, is to have safety glasses or safety goggles on. Okay, we're in the process of painting. We have the first coat of paint on. Lighting's not the greatest in the house, but the paint is still transparent, so it's going to take two coats. And we're not using anything fancy, just the Walmart brand paint. But it is the Ultra, so it's paint and primer in one. So if you're using paint that doesn't have primer with it, it's probably going to take three or four coats to cover it. And we are doing half of our crates in pink, and then half of them in this lilac purple. And then if you don't want the little staple holes here where the boards are stapled together, you can always pick up some wood filler, like this Elmer's wood filler, and fill in those holes before you paint. And then the whole outside of your crate will be solid. But we're going to let these dry real good and put a second coat on, and then we'll be back. Alright, our crates have their second coat of paint on and dried, and I just finished spraying them with our clear enamel coat, which is right here. That should be dried to the touch in about 30 minutes, and then they'll be ready for us to drill our holes for our casters and put them together in the shape of our table. Okay, all the paint on our crates is dry, and we are ready to assemble them into our table. I have mine laid out the way I want my table to be set up. It is two crates wide on two of the sides and then just one crate wide on the other two sides. To put it together we're going to be using one and a quarter inch wood screws and then just one inch wood screws. The reason we have the two different sizes is because if you look in your middle parts where you're going to put it together your wood on the inside is a little bit thicker so you need the longer screw, your one and a quarter inch, to go through these but then when you get to the insides of your single crates here you have the thicker piece of wood running into just one of the thin pieces so you need a shorter screw so that it doesn't poke through on the inside of your crate once it's in there so that's where your one inch screw is going to go. And before you start screwing, it's always a good idea to take a small drill bit and make a starter hole where your screws are going to go in. Otherwise your screw is going to get caught in your wood and you're going to end up stripping it and you'll have to fight with it to get it back out. Also we're going to be using a level to check and make sure that our table is level on the top as we go. We'll check it before we screw it and after, and then also once we get the wheels put on it to make sure that whatever we sit on our table isn't going to roll off to one side or the other. 
So I'm going to go ahead and drill my starter holes, and then I will show you what those look like. Okay, so these are what the starter holes look like inside of the crate. I have one in each of the four corners where my two crates meet. And for my starter hole, you can see on the drill bit, if I put it on here where the wood is, I put the hole about three quarters the way through the first board. I'm going to repeat that on all of the crates where they meet each other. Um, you only put the holes on the side that you're going to start your screw in from. You don't put the hole through both crates, otherwise your screw isn't going to have anything to grip onto once it gets into the wood, and they'll just fall apart. So I'm going to finish putting the rest of my starter holes in, and then we will screw the crates together. Okay, so I have my first two crates screwed together. As you can see, I stood them vertically because it's easier to screw down into something than it is to try to hold something and screw into it sideways. So I'm going to go ahead and screw my next two onto these, and then I will tip that structure upright and stack the last two on them, and I will show you guys that. Alright, so my structure is three quarters of the way put together. I am going to lift this little T-shaped section here and put it on top of these last two crates and screw it in, and then we will be ready to drill holes and put the casters on. Okay, so I decided not to drill holes in my crates for the casters and weaken the wood. I was able to fit the bolt that's attached to them through the space in the boards and just put a washer there so that it wouldn't slide back through once the bolt was on. I'm going to flip the table over and tighten these down. Since most of the weight on this table is going to be in the middle, I decided just to put the casters on the two middle crates. If it's going to be more evenly dispersed, you could put them on the outside crates. Okay, I tightened down the bolts on all of our casters. So they are in. Don't know if you can see that or not. And I've checked to make sure that all sides are still level. My little bubble is still in between my two lines, so that's good. So our table is officially finished. For the insides of these crates, uh, my daughter's dollhouse is going to go on this, so we're going to get some canvas totes and put down in the inside of these crates here for her to put her dollhouse furniture and her little people in. <laughs> 